All right, so for those of you who may not be aware, this is the 20th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, 1992-2012. So to do something special to celebrate the 20th anniversary, I wanted to pay homage or homage, however you want to say it, to the Mortal Kombat in its heyday in the arcade. Some of you young whippersnappers out there may not be old enough to recall, uh, but for those of us who are, Back when Mortal Kombat first came out and was got so popular, there used to be crowds and crowds of people around the machine and nobody could see what was going on. So they actually started mounting external auxiliary monitors on top of the machine so the crowds back behind could see what was going on without having to be up close. So, <clears throat> to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, that is what I did. I spent all day today making an ox monitor for the top of the cabinet. And there it is. It's in a a big box just like it was back in the day. They would set it up on top of the machine and wire it in parallel uh, with the power and video signal for the main monitor. But there it is. I don't know if I can get back far enough to get both of them in frame, but there you go. Let me turn the light out. There you go. The top one's brighter, of course, but uh, I haven't turned the brightness down. I can do that, but it's no big deal. I got everything piggybacked in as far as connections go. Uh, brightness. There you go. That's a bit better. Right there is good. All right. So, yeah. Uh, both machines, or I'm sorry, both monitors, top monitor and uh, regular monitor, <coughs> celebrating the 20th anniversary of Mortal Kombat. And there's a bit of interference in the top monitor, as you can see. There's a bit of interference, but there's not really any way you can get around that because you're splicing into the video lines coming off the main one so there's really not much you can do uh, but of course I'm not going to be watching the top one I'm going to be watching the bottom one and you can see how much brighter the bottom one is you can see how much brighter this one is compared to the top one that's why I had it turned up a bit uh, but it still looks great it's just got the interference which isn't a big deal I can live with that it's simply an issue of uh, having to splice into the other video lines. So, there it is, guys. Put some decoration on there midway. It's got uh, a bezel, as you can see, just like a normal arcade monitor, and some plexiglass on the front, and I fancied it up with some uh, decals that I had left over from conversion kits. Again, you can see the midway on the side, but uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show this uh, project I did to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, and it's pretty badass. It, from when I first got this project done, I turned everything on, and, and it took me right back 20 years ago. It uh, it's pretty awesome. So I guess thanks for watching and. Uh, I appreciate everybody following along in my videos and being fans and whatnot because it's this kind of thing that I like showing off is the, uh, the little deals and uh, projects I do for my love of Mortal Kombat, so to speak. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to comment.